Okay, I want to talk about the difference between JavaScript object literals and JSON. So JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation, but it's not just JavaScript that uses this. It's just JavaScript was used as the basis to cr come up with this standard. It's actually implemented in most programming languages now, from PHP to Ruby to Python to C++. There are JSON libraries for all of these different languages. When you're writing a JavaScript file, so you can see I've got two files here, one with a .json file extension and one with a .js file extension. So the .js, this is my JavaScript file, and I'm creating an object in JavaScript. So I have a variable, I'm assigning to it this object literal. Inside the object literal, I've got seven properties, prop1 through prop7. And we can put single quotes around them, we can put double quotes around them, or no quotation marks around them. All of these are valid as names for the properties. When we're dealing with the values, again, for strings you can have double quotes or single quotes. Without quotation marks, it's got to be a keyword or it's got to be a number. So we've got booleans, like true and false, we've got null, we can also put in undefined. Um, is nan a number a reference to a function so here I've got inside of an array for property 4 in the array I've got a string with single quotes a string with double quotes object 2 which is a variable that references this function so I've got an, an actual function object inside of my array and then a number so a lot of flexibility because we're working specifically with JavaScript and what JavaScript supports not what JSON supports in JSON, actually I have the uh, website right here, json.org. You ever want to know what exactly you're allowed to put in here? This is the place to go. So with JSON, you can have at the root, there could be arrays or objects. If it's an object, there's a string and then a value. And you've got commas between each string value pair. Between the string and the value, you've got colons that separate them. So in the array, there's only values, there's no string, there's no colon, there's just a value, and then a comma between each one. And square braces, or square brackets, contain the entire thing. The values that you put inside the objects or the arrays can be one of these things. A string, and the strings have to have double quotes around them. Numbers, objects, arrays, true, false, or null values. So we'll come back into brackets here. Here's my JSON file. So I have prop 1 through prop 7, but notice there's double quotes around all of them. If I don't have the double quotes, they're not valid. The strings both have double quotes around them. Numbers? Okay, for numbers we don't have to have it. Null and booleans, true and false, they don't have quotation marks around them, but all the string values do. Array, value, these are two strings, so they have to have the double quotes around them. Inside the array, I've got two strings, three strings actually, an empty string, two other strings, and then a number. I can't put in a reference here to object 2. There's no other objects in a JSON file. JSON file is just a text file that describes data. So I can't really have that. I could have something that said object or the name of the object. So I can come in here and say obj2 like that. Um, prop5. Again, this is a function, so I can't put a function inside of here. I could put another object, like here we have a nested array, and back in the um, description on json.org, we've got object listed as one of the values. That means, not that I can reference a function object like this, but it means I could create in here another object. So we could come in here and say, okay, and then p1 is v1. My second property is going to be called v2. My third one will be a boolean, so I'll set it to false. My fourth one is going to be a number, because that's valid. So I'll we'll have 654. I'll have another one using null, because that's an allowed value. And then I could have another one which was an array or an object. So 
we're very limited in what we can put inside of a JSON file, and that's because this is a standard that needs to be supported across all these other programming languages. So here's, a diff here's the difference between an object literal in JavaScript and a JSON file. So I will put copies of both of these together as code gists, and I'll put the links in the description so you can look at them and use them as references. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments down below. If you found this useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.